is such a cool part of, of racing games to have more variety. I, I sympathise with Codemasters though because it's as Nathan hints at, it's so much work to build these tracks and the, the machinery of these games. Pressure. 
you would like that to, to have the reverse to happen as well. If you're right up behind someone who can't find the pass in the eyes, you might pressure them into the state. You see the occasional lock up, and they're normally quite frustrated to lock up very late in the corner. Um, and they pick up and you can't find that, and they can do with this pressure team. But yeah, I, I see that as the next thing they have to evolve maybe with the AI. Um, it's a really good point. The race we've got a lot better with the AI in the last five or six years, but I, I agree, it's a really good point. I imagine you've got to do a good job of that, so that you can do it, but I'd love to see it. Here is where the personality type dictates the right form of intermittent fasting for you. One of those topics is less serious than the others, so the challenge is to, uh, to try to pick out that one. We've got some practical training tips from the Coach's Corner segment. We've got a Q&A segment that covers a lot of different topics, including mouth guards for lifting, sugar-sweet beverages, ATP and phosphatidic acid supplementation, stretching, flexibility, adjusting your training based on your calorie intake, and more. Finally, to close out the show, Grace got some great cooking resources to bring everyone's attention. As always, thank you for listening, and we hope you enjoy the show. Welcome back to the Stronger by Life podcast. This is your one and only full time host, Aaron Craig. Uh, like, on one hand, it's cool that they had a big database of stuff, and on the other hand, it sucked because the database was like 90% incorrect entries. And so, you know, you have to like sift through four or five entries before you're just like, yeah, those those macros actually seem like the right ones. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I I have previously tracked quite a bit and have never been able to stick with it for very long because either I would start drifting towards what you're describing, where you know you just need like four foods, you know what entries you use, um, and that's not sustainable for me because I do like to get a little bit more adventurous. Uh, or, you know, I just be like super annoyed and pissed off taking like fucking 20 minutes to track it. Um, so yeah, the, the app that we're working on with, uh, and by we're working on, I mean we kind of supply the, the raw materials in terms of like information and, and approach for adjusting things. Uh, and our developers, Corey and Rebecca, have been doing the vast majority of, of the actual work, uh, obviously. But uh, man, the the pre-alpha build already is so sick. Like even if I didn't have financial stake in this, um, I I think I would still view it as like head and shoulders above what I had previously. Yeah, and, and that's a good clarification. Like uh, I think it's a pretty slick macro tracking, like as it stands up with the logging app, but. You know, we, we were concerned that our access to the halls of power might be threatened uh, by the incoming administration. However, um, that is not the case. So when, uh, when the Biden administration came in, I, I sent them a letter um, said like, hey, look, Mr. Joe, uh, we, understood, we understand that uh, previous administrations did allow some uh, some meatheads, some people who took the reaper to work in the White House, which, uh, quite honestly, terrible idea. I, I can't understand why any why anyone would allow that. So he said, hey, maybe uh, you know, if, if there's one big line item that can really uh, clean up federal policy, like if there's one thing we could do to improve American society, it would definitely be to get all of the hot ends out of the White House. Uh, and the Biden administration 100% obliged. Um, <laughs> the actual news story, honestly, I find pretty hilarious. The uh, the uh, administration asked people coming in to just like fill out a form. And, like one of the questions is, have you ever like recreationally used marijuana? And the people who said yes, like within months, they basically said like, yeah, get the fuck out of here. We don't want you. And honestly, uh, so now. <laughs> The, obviously, the last part was sarcasm, uh, but this isn't sarcasm. Honestly, I do kind of think that that's, <laughs> that's kind of a good thing, 